One by one, the cars line up at the Clay County Fairgrounds, a center of kindness on this day. As each vehicle rolls forward, volunteers are moving with urgency, loading boxes of food. The source is Second Harvest Food Bank in Nashville, with the organization then delivering the donations to Salina, more than 100 miles away. But there's a local push to be part of this too, with UT Extension involved. The funding comes from around our community. Um, I know there's a few churches that contribute to the funding to bring the semi-truck in full of food uh, for the food drive. I think there's lots of people in our county who need it, and I think it's really important to come out and help. Kendall was one of the Clay County 4-H'ers to help with the food distribution. Inside this warehouse, the group fills the boxes, getting everyone a variety of healthy items. Then by the front door, cars pull up with young families and older adults, all ages. But no matter, it's someone from this community, many grateful for the kids' work and the food. I think not only do you better your community, but you learn how to teach others leadership by t learning these roles of what they're doing. The 4-H'ers help with this food drive three or four times a year. UT Extension leaders say everyone benefits here. The folks who receive these kind donations and the 4-H'ers who learn a valuable lesson. Kristen Rich with UT Extension is right there with her 4-H'ers, loading boxes and sending cars on their way. Rich wants kids to know you don't have to be wealthy or even older to help someone. Teens can make an impact. So we typically bring about 10 4-H'ers um, from the high school over and, and they help us distribute the food to the community. Uh, they are making a huge impact in our community. Uh, everyone's so thankful for our kids uh, coming to help. One of those helpful young people is Erin Meadows. For her, this food distribution is just typical of what she plans to do as an adult volunteer someday. And she encourages other kids to be thinking that way. And they can get involved early so that when they graduate and they get into the adult world, they can come back and they can donate their time or money or food to this and just help the next generation. Within a couple of hours, more than 800 people had been helped in this food drive. In a few months, the cars will be back, and so will Second Harvest and more 4-H'ers. Here, caring equates to impact, building a strong connection between these young people and their home community, all from effort. This is Charles Denny reporting.